What's up guys? Corey here with Toothless Reptiles in San Diego. As always, follow us on social media. Check us out on our website, www.toothlessreptiles.com. And you guys wanted an update on the croc monitor facility. So here it is. We got a trailer full of PVC sheets. Um, this is quarter inch thick foamed PVC. This is the stiffest foamed PVC sheets they make. It's actually a lot more rigid than the stuff that you generally see the cages made out of, um, which means it's a little bit more dense and more expensive. And uh, we actually have, uh, we're still waiting on like 60 more sheets to come in. They're on back order. But we also have 090 thick Lexan sheets. So we're not using plexiglass or anything. We're actually using real Lexan um, for the fronts of the enclosures. But here is where the building is going. So this is actually a uh, 30 by 60 steel building that's going up. The actual building is going up on the 21st. Uh, we've just been uh, doing construction, excavation, everything, permitting, all that good stuff. So it's taken a while to get going here, but ultimately we are pretty much ready to go now. So we're on the home stretch. So we got all the materials, got a bunch of plywood and uh, two by fours and everything over there for the actual caging. Um, the actual building is steel. Um, it's got 16 foot tall walls inside the building as well as 10 skylights. I think I have 10 or 12 skylights. Um, and uh, we're also running, there'll be a separate, um, obviously a separate electrical panel and everything up in here, but we're having, uh, we actually have 17 Cat5 cables that we've already ran uh, back to the house, all the datacom and everything. So it'll have internet access in here, but also we'll have all of the channels for the 4K video surveillance systems that I like to use, the Lorex system. So um, all of the enclosures will have 4K video, multiple 4K videos, cameras inside of them. Um, and then as far as the enclosures go, down to the fun part, if you take a look here, I pre-built one of our prototype walls um, just to kind of see how everything would go together and get all of the uh, materials together. But the cages are actually 16 feet tall. So they go all the way up to the top of that two by four that I hung off there as a reference for everybody. Um, so this is an eight foot by 12 foot section. All of the enclosures that are set in here are 12 feet deep. Um, the one end enclosure here is only eight feet tall. And the two end enclosures here are only eight feet tall because these are the water monitor enclosures on that end and the two on this end. But all of the center enclosures are all croc monitor enclosures and those are all going to be 16 feet tall and we're actually planting full-size live trees in the ground in this section so this whole entire section of the concrete has all been engineered and it has a three foot deep footer around the periphery so the animals actually can't dig back underneath it and the idea here is we're going to have two above ground ponds uh, on separate planes that will cascade into each other. So we have our lines ran for our pool pumps, um, the same filter system we had at the old facility. And same thing over there, we have the uh, drain, the bottom drain. But so there's the two above ground ponds here, and then those will cascade down into a river a flowing river that goes through all of the croc monitor enclosures as you probably know or actually you probably don't know but croc monitors generally don't don't soak a whole lot and they don't come down to the ground very much um, so there's not really a use to having a big pond in a croc monitor enclosure it's nicer to have like a flowing river just so they have something to drink out of if they want um, but generally they drink from the misting systems so um, then at this end, we're going to have the that very large uh, six foot pond that I had at the old setup. That's gonna be inlaid in the ground and this actually goes down uh, three and a half feet down. So that's the drain. So the pond will be directly above that all the way down and that will be the intake for the pump. So that it'll suck back up. That's basically the sump area. So that enclosure is eight feet wide and that will house the big male black dragon. And then all of the other croc monitor enclosures, uh, the largest is this enclosure here. So this enclosure is 16 feet wide by 12 foot deep by 16 feet tall. So it'll be up here. 
um, up uh, uh, in like the center of the tree line, which is going to be crazy. But um, what's really cool about this setup is that we'll actually have uh, somewhat of a mezzanine, a deck inside the large croc monitor enclosure because so these two i'm trying to give you perspective here because i'm excited about it but these two enclosures are 12 feet deep and this whole section is 12 feet wide but they're only eight feet tall so there will be a staircase that goes up to the top of these enclosures and then that deck will extend into the croc enclosure about six feet so you'll be able to come up onto the second level eight feet above and actually walk through a door that'll bring you eight feet up in the croc monitor enclosure and you'll be able to look above you and look below you at this huge croc monitor enclosure full of live trees, um, oak branches, all kinds of good stuff, misting systems. Uh, we have a special lighting system, a 240 volt lighting system that's going in all this good stuff and um, it's going to be amazing. But all this stuff is going to start going up on the 21st so it's going to be a really busy month the idea is to do some vlogging um i'll actually be off work for from the 20th to june july 1st um so i'll be able to crank out all this stuff and that's the idea is to kind of do some vlogging and uh so everybody can kind of follow the process as we go this whole half of the building is not even going to be used um i'll use it for other stuff car projects and all that other stuff i like to do but um as far as the lizards we're just using this 15 feet of the enclosure so there's actually a three foot walkway that goes around the back and around the sides of all the enclosures and then the concrete actually overhangs into all of the enclosures about two feet so if you look at this wall you have about a four inch overhang on the front which allows us to uh, tie into the concrete here and then you have a two foot overhang on the back so you can actually there will be a, a small amount of concrete in the enclosures which will give us a mounting point for all the stuff that we want to put in there as well as a uh, a nice strong basking area as well if we want to do that and then these actually come into the enclosure six feet because we'll have the ponds actually sitting on the concrete even though all of the enclosures will still go all the way back here um, and then we'll have the uh, we're also having a master cool 7000 in this building so it'll help keep the humidity up but the whole building will be temperature controlled and we'll be able to adjust humidity with the master cool system because it's essentially uh, an evaporative cooler so just like a swamp cooler so it should be awesome I'm really excited I'm glad we got one of the walls built so we could kind of test it out see how heavy they were um, I have a couple friends coming by to uh, help out with the build process and since the walls are so tall we're kind of seeing if we need to rent some scissor lifts or if we can get them with the ladders um, it looks like we can just lift them with the ladders so um, it's gonna be an awesome project everybody's welcome to come and check it out when it's all done uh, I'm super excited to see how it all turns out pretty awesome uh, make sure to uh, stay up to date and subscribe with us on YouTube so you can get all these videos and uh, as always keep feeding